Hey, my name is Teresa Byrne. My students call me Master T and I'm going to lead a little bit of movement for you today. I'm a professional martial artist and have been a fitness trainer for, oh my, I don't even know how many decades. So if you are in a place where you can move your body a little bit, we're just going to warm up. Nothing big. Every time I see people taking on a, uh, what are we going to call it? An exercise routine. I don't even like the word exercise. I like the word movement or training. It's always like all or none, go big, go home. No, just go. You don't have to go big. You can just go. So if you're in the place and you want to join me, we're just going to do some movement, some range of motion, push your chair away from your desk or find some space and I'll walk you through it. So these are punches. We're just crossing the midline of our body helps our brain. And if you can see my feet, I'm also rotating my hips because even punches, even though you think they just come from your arms, they don't. And you know what? Here's the deal. Trust me. I will not do anything that hurts you. This will not last forever. This is just a warm up for your body. What do you need to warm up for? I don't know. Get ready for your day. Get ready for your weekend. Get ready for your night. So we're just crossing the midline. Now we're going to take them up stronger, higher, same punches. We're just crossing the midline of our body and using our shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Now go ahead. And this is one of my boxing warm ups. Go ahead and start with bent elbows. Rotate your arms forward. If that's easy and you don't have anything or anyone nearby, you can extend. Nice. Now, same thing going backwards. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. Uh, after sitting in a chair or wherever you've been sitting, and same concept. Open your arms up if it feels good. You don't have to start there. Next, I want you to cross and reach. Cross and reach. Cross and reach. Cross, reach, cross, reach. And these are all great moves for your shoulders, your upper body. Oh, and for those of you who get neck pain or upper back pain, this can really help. Next one, up and down, up and down. When I teach the kids how to do this move, I'm like, imagine that you're reaching up to grab apples from a tree and then you're throwing them into a, uh, well, I don't know, basket, an apple basket. Four, three, two, one. Nice. One of my other favorite exercises also involves the brain because I do coach people a lot on brain stuff. And you want to think about crossing the midline of your body and touching touching. If this is easy, you might get to your forearm. Breathing in, breathing out. If that's easy, you might get to your elbow if you've got good black back flexibility. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Hip circles. One of my favorite things to do, especially if you sit a lot. Ah, and rotate, switch directions. Breathing in. The antidote to stress is breath. Good. Now, push side to side, especially if you sit a lot. We shorten these muscles, so we want to extend, give them a little love, give them a little fluid, a little goodness. Three, two, one. Nice. Next one. Knee comes up and out. If you feel something pulling on your hip, it could be just a tendon crossing the bone. If you've got good flexibility, you can bring that leg up. If that doesn't feel comfortable, rotate. You're also working on balance. A couple more. Two and one. Nice. Shake it out. You just gave your body a hug. You just gave your body some range of motion and some warming up. So now whatever else you want to go do, do it. Enjoy your